Hello and welcome back to my Punk Cake series. This is Anticrypt, another in the backlog of games uh, in the Punk Cake catalog. Let's check it out. Normal, hard, or cryptic. That uh, that's applies to all punk games, I think. <laughs> uh, recover sector? Sure. Enter sector. Ooh, we got some graphics. We have some graphics. Okay, what are we doing? Oh. We're shooting a beam. We're shooting a beam, but we're not controlling the beam. We're only shooting the beam. But we're out of power, so you can only shoot the beam for so long. But then we can throw a bomb? Oh, I see, and then we, if we're inside the sphere, then we gain our power back. Okay. Interesting. So we got like a, almost like a um, bubble bobble, not bubble bobble, uh, what do we got? like a Robotron kind of esque game going on. 25 pl plus 25 percent refill zone size plus one access to file. I don't know what that does, so I'll try that one. So obviously the farther away from this, that uh, from it you are, the more control you have or the more range. Um, but then you don't revive your battery as quickly. Oh, these guys take a lot of hits. Maybe we can only kill them with, with the bomb. I don't know how many bombs we get. Are they? Do they cost like a battery each, I wonder? All right. Intersector. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button there for a second. Yeah, the bomb is very effective against these guys. Laser is not completely ineffective, but... So I, I feel like if I beat... Oh no, that timer in the bottom left corner is countdown for enemies. All right, this is a uh, this is okay so far. Uh, plus one battery per play or plus one bomb per play. Let's do plus one battery per play. Definitely having more battery power is going to help. So how, what is the bomb? Oh, we only get one bomb. I feel like that's what's indicated in the bottom left corner. Yes, you only get one bomb and I just completely wasted it. Oh no, De death. Each points in the power skill will improve your damage by 10%. So you can like be in the circle while you shoot. It's just a little bit harder to aim. But then you get, oh my god, I didn't even see that guy. He was really, he was like camouflaged with the background. New enemy type. New enemy type and I died to it right away. Probably shouldn't have used that. Okay, so those are more visible when they open their eye. Probably take more damage if I'm guessing. Or does that tell me that they're about to shoot their their gun? I need more battery power. More battery power. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but things are definitely getting spicier. Um blaster gun. I don't know what those things on the right are telling me. So this this tells us what kind of powers where we get to choose from. So what is this? Rescue, move toward you when your battery is low. Blaster, so what? You can only take one of these at a time? Interesting. So we, we've picked a routine now. Oh, we have a different gun. Oh, I, 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 I like this gun far less, actually. Yeah, this gun is awful. Or maybe I, just I am awful at, at using the gun.
Okay. All right, that, that wasn't too bad, even even with the gun that I don't like. So we got Morpho Bomb M Bat. Honestly, kind of unusual to find a level structure. Move towards you when your battery is low. Do these like add more difficulty? Maybe. I don't know what those. I don't understand fully everything, but that's fine. Our movement speed is quite slow. Okay. Uh, that would have been a good, like, moment for a bomb, and I squandered it. So, this one is, uh... Oh, I see. I think the subroutines are supposed to be, like, helpful. So the blaster gun was actually, like, good. And then once you've used them, they're gone, is what I'm guessing. This one is, like, when the when you're out of battery charge, the little circle moves towards you. So that is helpful. So I'm guessing I shouldn't actually use those if I can help it. And I can increase, uh, scan. Let's do battery again. Yeah, they, they, it seems to be gone. Running on sector four. So, like, what does that mean? Does that mean if I was to do sector four again without the blaster gun, that I would get the blaster gun back? I wonder. There's some interesting things going on in this game. There's like consumables in a way that are like game, like the length of the game. Like you can only use them once if you're struggling on a, on a level. So it might be that the, uh, you know, that item is useful for taking out exactly that one level. Bomb. Oh yeah, that was good. Bomb time. All right. So now, does that mean I get my blaster back? Yes. So we could do this without rescue again. And all right, this is this is kind of cool. I like that. So I guess, you know, as a rule of thumb, you should try to beat the level without using any subs, subroutines. And then, um, you know, if you're really struggling, you can use a subroutine. I like this. This is really cool. Oh, there's a lot of enemies on this one. But we have a lot of battery power now, so... I wonder, you do probably get to keep your upgrades for previous levels, so you could... Oh. You could come back to a previous level now with new... Like, more battery power, for instance. And then it's like, okay, this is just, like, easier, so you could reclaim one of your old subroutines with new with your new upgrades okay oh i think I, I i screwed it up oh oh, oh i was so close to surviving that I need to use my, my bomb effectively to beat this one. That wasn't bad. Could be better. They just they do they just keep on coming and they don't stop coming. Oh Funny to me that they, they throw in these last few enemies at the end. No 
more bombs. Okay. Don't don't die at this last moment here. All right, there we go. There we go. Do we have another plasma gun? So you you do get Oh, this is a different weapon. We 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 ought to try it. We got to try it once. Oh, it's just it's just beef. Pure beef. It's pure beef. Beef all the way down. Lordy. Yeah. This is this is a good this is one you're gonna want for future ones for sure. I see I notice we have like VRAM as an option. Um so I wonder like you could have multiple subroutines in future. Um, so like do use multiple subroutines to make a level really easy on yourself. Go and get yourself some upgrades. Come back, get your subroutines back. This is a, this is a unique punk cake game because it's, it's displaying a certain amount of, um, linear kind of gameplay that we haven't seen before. And yet the way you use your, you know, quotation marks consumables is really interesting and uh, presents us with like, you know, almost like backtracking uh, capabilities. Uh oh. That was uh, really close. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. These spiders are really scary. They, they just kind of stop right in front of me. I'm amazed I survived that. Soul Pan and M Bomb. I love that intro animation. It's so slick. It's satisfying and it's it's so quick. So you don't you don't have to there's no like huge intro to to make you kinda I don't know, bore bore you? Like you don't I'm not gonna get sick of that animation because it's so quick. But it looks so nice. Oh, 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 okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. Uh, almost died there for no good reason. I wonder, um, we did get a choice of rewards. I wonder if you could go back and reclaim like the other reward. I don't think so because it does, it did say like reward claimed. So I feel like that's definitively saying like you're done. You don't get another one. These guys are kind of creepy. Nice. Soul pan. Okay, so those were both <clears throat> consumables. So this would give, give a scan or bomb. Definitely I would want bomb. I was gonna say maybe we should go like ahead a couple levels to get an extra upgrade. I'm nervous about like using our gun a lot when I'm not in the circle because like I don't want to run out and then be dead in the water but like we have so much battery power that I, I do have a lot of liberty to use it. Okay we do want to we want to use our bomb here. These guys are, are really tough. That was that was pretty easy actually. Okay, let's um let's get another bomb. And then let's get Vram or Bat. So I'm actually skipping a level now. So scan lets you skip a few levels if you want to go for certain upgrades like right away. Oh, these guys can actually take a bomb on the chin and survive. Ooh, what are these? Oh, I don't like those. Oh, uh, I I hate them. They, they, they kind of move in a rhythm.
No! So they can grab you. Oh, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, those guys suck. Okay, we want to save our bomb for, for that. I'm trying to- oh my god, that was just really bad movement. I'm trying to use our bomb more liberally because, um, I guess we have two bombs, didn't we? So I could have used a bomb and I totally didn't. Sorry, I've been so used to only having the one bomb. I wonder if you're like really good and staying on that circle. Oh, they did they just like avoid the bomb completely? Oh, damn it. Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, if we're like really on this circle, do we get our energy back, do you think? Probably not as fast as if... Hmm, I don't know. I don't think so, because we we're not seeing that electricity. All right, this is this is actually really bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These this is the first enemy I, I genuinely don't like. I love the design of them; they're really cool. But man, they suck. It's like actually really difficult to contend with. These guys also kind of suck because not not because they shoot, but because they're tanky and they're also hard to hit. All right, here we go. We need to, a well-placed bomb would do it. Wow, that did like nothing. I'm so screwed. Yep. I don't, I think we're gonna have to use some subroutines. Let's, uh, how do I, how do I bail out of a level? To go back to, okay. Let's go back to the character uh, select screen, and then we're gonna we're gonna pick something. Virus charge change small enemies to. What? I can't read that. <laughs> something in a large zone. I straight up cannot read that. Um, solar panel energy refill slowly. Emergency battery plus three batteries for this file. Plus two bombs for this file. All right, let's try this. So I get two bombs. I'm gonna basically use a bunch, like two of them right away as soon as those lads appear. I really need to get rid of these guns before they appear. Oh my god. This could be it. Okay, I don't know. I don't understand the movement of these guys. We did do it though, so worth it. Worth using that to uh, that subroutine. Okay, increase our battery. Um, let's try this one. We we gotta we gotta you know we want to beat them all. Oh, so this was the introduction to this enemy that I didn't get because I skipped this level. I actually tried to use the bombs there. I don't, I don't understand them.
There's a there's a weird method in which they move that I don't quite understand. Or behavior. That's fine. We we did this. We, we did it. So this is gonna have a lot of enemies. Luckily not those tendril enemies though. Rewards, tiny box. This is gonna give us more subroutines. I don't really want subroutines. I want like straight up upgrades. Oh, this is gonna be spiders. A lot of spiders. I'm not really sure how spiders work either, if I'm being honest. Ah, jeez. So the bomb has just a slight enough delay that it it's you can you can die while it's up in the air. That was so close. The circle, only being able to shoot at the circle is obviously a huge problem <laughs> sometimes because it's not gonna be where you want it to be all the time. That was a nice bomb. That was such a nice bomb. Oh, there's still more. Jeez. I, I really thought that was going to be it. Oh my god, that was so close. Okay. I think this is this is the end of the enemies, so we're, we're, we're okay. I just need my, my energy back. There we go. Tiny box. Um, is this one gonna offer more upgrades? Bomb or zone? Okay, let's uh, try a new weapon with a subroutine. I've, I'm doing this right away because like, I wanna see what some of the other, okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna turn, uh, there's no options. Oh, a boss? Jeez. Wow, D was not expecting a boss in this game. Almost died right there. Is he shrinking? I think he is shrinking. He's dead. Nice. No, it might have been a good zo uh, zone for that. Um, plus 25 refill zone size. Let's try that. I don't know what that means, but we'll try it. Tiny box, what is this? Your target bounce in a smaller zone. Oh, I see. So the circle stays closer to the center. Good to know. That's actually pretty cool. Those are pretty well-placed bombs. I don't know if I could have done much better than that. I think the spiders are just kind of meant to scare you into making stupid choices because they don't seem to want to walk into you. They just kind of get close to you. So you, they're there to like make you walk into them. Oh, oh my God, I almost died at the last enemy. Got a shotgun. Oh, this has got those lads in it, so let's let's use the shotgun. I think maybe the shotgun would be good w for these guys. I could be wrong, actually, because it requires me to get close to them. Well, maybe. 
It's, it's doing a good job right now. Also, the shotgun is just very good, I think. There's still another wave coming in, and it's coming in soon. The um, circle is being a real pain in the butt right now, because it's, it's only moving in a line, and it's not moving in a helpful line. Getting in a situation like this is really unfortunate. I don't know if there's any way I like, can like move it or you know jog it in, in a specific direction. But we made it through. I figured the circle was like scripted in a way that it was always going to move in a certain direction. But I might be wrong about that. Okay, I'm definitely going to take something for this. Uh, I don't think I want the blaster gun. I don't like the blaster gun. Uh, I don't know. We'll try this. I can't read it, but we'll try it. I think it's a bomb ability based on the icon. Okay, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so it turns, instead of killing enemies, it just turns them into an easier enemy to deal with. I don't know if that's particularly helpful, if I'm being honest. I feel like we need a different subroutine. Oh, almost died there. I guess it did save me technically, but from what? From, a, from one fate to another. Oh, oh my God, I'm alive. I'm alive. No. Oh, don't die now. We're, we're dead. We're dead. Wow. Yeah, I need a I need a subroutine, a better one, because that's that's not doing it for me. Um, we could try and get like one of our other like plasma gun. Let's try and do this without the plasma gun, because we could really do with a better gun for that one. I don't think I needed the plasma gun for this one. I just like wanted to try it out. So, I think that's a good as, uh, excuse to try one than anything else, because like you can always come back. Gives you a reason to backtrack a little bit. Almost died there. Jeez, those guys take so much damage. Oh, when the circle gets like this, it's real pain. But I guess I guess I was, you know, trying to hit it from the wrong angle. Okay, so now let's do this with the plasma gun. This should be a little bit easier now. Of course, I think the plasma gun actually uses more power. It does more damage, but I think it does use more power. It might be just my perception. But it's worth it. 100% worth it. Oh, yes. Much better. Much, much better. <laughs> Love it.
Need more power. Okay. Yeah, that was that was much better. So it's really like you gotta you gotta pick your poison. Um, do you want to ha have a harder time of a level, or do you do you want to like I don't know? You gotta you gotta manage your your items. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, we'll see what we can if we can do this with just. I noticed that there was another boss in this one. We're gonna see if we can do this with just our basic laser beam. Oh, okay. Let's try... Teleport you to your bomb location. Let's try it. We can now take two of these now. Solar panel will refill slowly. Let's do that. We'll do... We'll do... You know, I'm, like, for the purposes of, like, showing off the game, I'm, I'm... I am taking some extra stuff. Just to... Just to experiment. But I think that that's actually working for me. Oh, my God. I love how the, uh... The terrain or the level kind of deforms around the squid when he enters. It's really cool. More enemies on the screen is a problem. Ugh, I thought I thought it was gonna end like any second, but it didn't. Oh, he can, like, move around when he's charging. We don't have to worry about power too much, or the circle, basically, because we've got, we've got solar panels and a ridiculous number of batteries. I don't know if those are eggs and I have to worry about them because they're going to turn in enemies. And I think my answer, my question was answered while I was asking it. Okay. Okay, I am just about out of power, which is impressive. I love the design of the squid. Like, I love the the two the two tentacles in the back have are just like opaque, with the the shadow. Oh, this looks like a nightmare level. Can we skip it? Let's skip it and try this one. I didn't put any subroutines on. Damn it. New enemies. Oh, they seem to do something nasty to the floor. I'm assuming that floor is now not. It's got the bad touch. If we touch it, we bad. Just slows us down. Okay, that's not too bad. Circle, why are you doing me dirty like this? For real. So the, these guys are interesting in that they aren't dangerous until they are. They basically choose their moment. Which actually makes them more dangerous in a way than other enemies. I guess it- oh, it's only when you're on the terrain. Interesting. When you're on the terrain, that's when they all move towards you. Oh, that's a really clever uh, enemy design, I gotta say. But we did do it, and we did it without using any subroutines. Let's increase our power. We desperately need that. Okay. Um... I don't know. Move with you when you shoot. Sure, and then we'll take this. Split your beam in two. Wait, can I not take both? I guess not, okay. So let's take split your beam into two and then, I don't know, blaster gun. I don't like blaster gun, but we'll see how these two things interact. They don't seem to interact. I thought it was gonna split the beam. Dang it. Why doesn't why do these things not synergize? 
All right. You know what? I'm fine with that. We're gonna we're gonna switch our stuff up a bit. No, 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 not that one. Uh, I guess this one, but geez. Okay, split your gun, and then uh, I don't know. Recover. Residual energy converter. Refill energy on bomb explosion. Okay, could be cool. I'm amazed at how much stuff is in this game. Yeah, they, I, I figured it was gonna split the beam in exactly this way. So I'm glad I tried it without the blaster weapon. It's okay, I can't expect everything to kind of like work together. That was a dumb death. I can't expect everything to work together because you know, like there's a, that's a lot of things to program. I, uh, I really like this game. It's honestly, um, I mean, it's nice to play a, what a punk, what? Oh God, the enemy spawned right on me. A punk cake game with like a linear gameplay as opposed to uh, like a roguelite or a challenge of some sort, or, uh, you know, a game with like replayability, play something with like structure to it. More structure, I suppose I should say, um, is kind of nice. Oh, that, that screen shake is a little bit much, though, I will say. Still not quite sure how these guys work. They seem to work differently depending on, like, if we're charging or not. I do like the split. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was so good. Just cut the entire room in half. Okay, circle, you need to cooperate. There we go. All right, let's do one more level. Um, this seems like a nightmare, so we could end it with that, yeah? Why not? Um, this one, and then strafer move with you when shot, when you shoot, and then shoot at nearest target constantly. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if these two things are gonna work together, but who knows? Oh, I see. So we have like complete control over the circle now. That's kind of really cool. It's also like almost a completely new way of playing. So it takes some uh, getting used to. But once you do, it's, it's like a lot more control than I have had. Just kill those spiders. It's a great uh, tool against these guys because it means I can actually focus fire them, which I can't normally do. But also, it means that you're you're maybe not close to your circle all the time. So getting your charge back can be a little bit challenging. Nice. All right, let's leave it at that. That's uh, this is a really cool game. I like it a lot. Um, how do we how do we get back to the main menu? No, the escape key seems to do uh, nothing. But um, this is Antichrist, uh, and uh, this is really cool. I, I'm like I guess halfway through the game, you could probably beat this in a single sitting. Probably take you maybe a couple hours, but that's that's decent. 
and uh, there's some really novel enemy designs in here. And like, honestly, using um, consumables for the whole game and having them dedicated to that level is a novel concept. I haven't really seen that used in like any other game. I kind of wish that maybe we could see a rogue. I know I said I, I liked that this had linear structure, but I wouldn't mind seeing a roguelike youth use that. Uh, instead of like maybe meta progression, we could see we could see a rogue like like you know you can only use a consumable for this level or this set of levels, and it's going to make things easier on you. But then you're it's gone for the whole game. Could be really cool. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really novel concepts in this one. Really cool. Um, oh, we get to uh, let's pick bomb, I guess. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.